get where, you know, the, the marina, um, plans that are on there, how is that going to generate more money or tourism for the coral? Because unless you've got a boat that you're going to plan on putting Can't in the marina, mm -hmm. what benefit are we going to get from it? Right. Port Town Council money, what would you spend it on in Port Town? I would employ um, a couple of wardens to go around and yeah. make sure that the town is cleaner, that people uh, clear up after their dogs. Uh, and generally improve the overall feel of the town, the cleanliness. It, it is, I, I, yeah, I think it's filthy. Yeah, I think it's a filthy place. And as a, and for, as a holiday resort, you know, I want to go somewhere that's sparkling clean. You know, I, I go to other holiday resorts. I go to Spain. I've got family living in Spain. You go to the holiday resorts there. There's not a piece of litter on the street. There's yeah. not a cigarette end. Yeah. This has been mentioned several times. I'm sure times. it has. But I went on the council place. It's over twenty-one pounds for ten bags. To get rid of your green waste. To get rid of my green waste. Oh, and you okay. don't have twenty bags, do you? I've got about no. six bags already. <laughs> so oh, you have about thirty bags a year. This is really? this is purely from what you're gardening and pruning. Just from pruning and stuff like that. Right. And I don't see why I should pay twenty one pounds. Especially like uh, people opposite me, they put up maybe ten bags of ordinary stuff every year, right. every week, or well, every other week. And I put out like maybe half black bag. And yet they want to take my green waste. Oh, yeah. I don't want to take your green waste. Oh. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, how much how much a month do you spend on council tax? Hundred and nineteen pounds. Hundred and nineteen. Yeah. So times that by ten. You're looking at £1,235, something like that. Right. But you would like to see a, a regular green waste collection? I don't see why, yeah, I don't see why we should have to pay £21 yeah. to buy 10 bags. I, I asked for a green wheelie bin, and they said, no, I can't have that. Right. In Cardiff, they get, you know, it's for free. Yeah. Every other week, and my brother in Durham, he gets it for free. Just so, it's all in the green So bin. We've, we've got the recycling, which they've done very well at. Oh, yeah. If you had control of £50,000 of Porthcawl Town Council money, what would you like to see it spent on in Porthcawl? £50,000 doesn't do a lot of things. It doesn't do a lot of things, and I know we're going small here, but you know the, the Town Council budget isn't that big either. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that's about the chunk of money they get to use on, on one specific thing. So, if you had control of that, what would you do? Um, um, well, obviously playing football, I know the facilities at Locks Lane have been improved, but I think uh, I think a clubhouse for the for the Portugal town would be great because it, it bring, brings back a sense of community and uh, like everyone obviously put rugby, the rugby clubs got the rugby club where they all uh, where they all hang out after the games. With Portugal town now, if they play a game, they have to all go to a pub and you lose you lose players, you lose things. You want the sense of community around the club. Okay. By that I mean it could be Griffin Park. Bowls, etc. Uh, no one again go to Griffin Park without yeah. grandchildren. Okay. But for your grandkids, very limited. Yes. Um, okay then, um, if you had control of £50,000 of Porthcawl Town Council money, uh, what would you like to spend it on? If you had to spend it on something in Porthcawl, what would you spend that money on? Uh, I think I'd go through the main town itself, like go John Street and just give it a bit of a facelift and things, make it look a bit nicer, maybe just do some things like that with it. Make a paint? Yes. Flowers? Yeah, a bit of paint, a bit of flowers. I, I think I'd just sorry you know. Maybe put a leisure centre in. Just <laughs> a leisure centre, a very small leisure centre for fifty fifty thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah. I, 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 I put like someone else in, like. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Have you ever heard of Porthcawl first? Uh, no. You've not. And to the Club Recreational Centre. I mean, it is a team. Really out of zone, is it? I mean, plenty of smaller in the valleys have got that. It's yeah. not just cities. Yeah. And Porthcawl actually. Crown, which right. everybody quotes, yeah. they want to make it the jewel in the crown. So they're taking things out, they want to put some yeah. more in. So that's, that's, that's uh, private people that are taking money out as well? Oh yes, yeah. I mean, we're all, you know, if there's 
we bought uh, tickets years ago. I won't bore people with that because, I mean, it is boring now. Everybody in a meeting gets up and says, what about the pool? Yeah. Gone. Yeah. Let's look for today. For Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Well, and, very nice and it's a wonderful place to live. It is. You go down Newton with the dogs and it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. So they're not pouring it into a rubbish place, yeah. are they? So we've got an area of outstanding beauty. Absolutely. And Let's make some, the most of it. Need some TLC, yes. that's what you say. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. Obviously you, you've been down here a few times. Uh, uh, uh. Have you seen any progress on the regeneration of Port Pool? As I say, the public art is significant and yeah. I think it's well designed and I haven't seen it vandalised and, and there's more than when I came here a year ago so I think that's entirely positive. Uh, you know, the idea that every high street looks identical and has the same shops in, which Port Pool's doing a pretty good job of uh, resisting actually, it's, it's very important. Just I've got to ask you a few questions and it concerns our town. Oh yeah, our town. Our town, our town. Yeah. So, do you live in Port Cole? Yes. Yeah. How often do you come down John Street? Nearly, uh, nearly every day. Nearly yeah, every day? Does, yeah. Okay. Do you use any of our leisure facilities in the town? What? Where are they? Uh, the pavilion? Do you yes. go to any shows? So yes. we have got a... Occasionally, occasionally yes. yeah, we all go down. Is that in our control now? I would say our control, both called control now rather than Borough, Bridge and Borough Council? Still, still under the gem banner. Because the rates are the thing that kills them, aren't they? I mean, yeah. These rates are really unbelievable. Business rates and uh, yeah. actual rentage. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. um, no, they're out of our control at the moment. But, uh, as I say, uh, if we can still, if the independents can get control of the Town Council, we'd have a bigger say in Bridge End. Rather than just leave the Labour ones yeah, down here yeah, saying yeah, nothing. Yeah. Holding hands. That's it. And they, they, that's it. That's exactly what they do. Mm. Holding hands with their fathers in Bridge End. Mm. And even the Conservatives are holding hands with them. Mm. So it's only the, like, we're doing this, our independents do this because we want to find out what's going on. Yeah. Mm. yeah DCDC. This, uh, it's claustrophobic, the fact that they're all voting party political mm. in the uh, town council. And it's, it's about them and us across the yeah, chamber, yeah. Mm. and it's not getting anything done. Mm. If Labour um, had come up with an idea, the Conservatives want to batter it down just because, because Labour mm, suggested it. And vice not versa. because it's good or bad, mm. and it's just ridiculous. It's about point scoring. Mm. And, when, and this is what we it, want to stop should not have politics in um, local yes. government no. and you know I was speaking to an Australian funny enough who was here this morning and he said oh you know you don't want to interview me I'm from Australia I said more point to interview you then because we can get your perspective on this town as you see it from fresh eyes and I was talking to him about council and politics and he said oh no there is no politics in local government in their townships they will not have it and the answers are very blinkered you know once they made their minds up about things you know you don't change them do you and um, it's quite right you know it's um, the death knell really but don't you find that is a reflection that the only people, the majority of people who go in to be councillors are from a political party. You know, they say, you know, they, they join the party and they well, say, well, we need councillors, go, go, go along. There's you know? three parties in yeah. Cuscall, yeah. and um, that's why we're trying to break them down. Mm. Because actually, nationally, yeah. we of Cuscall first mm. vote differently. Mm. And we respect each other's views. Mm. But when it comes to Cuscall, we've got to decide what is, what is right best? and yeah. best for Porth Call, you know? And that doesn't mean Conservative Labour live. Do you recommend Porth Call to your friends and your family? Yeah. yeah.